Hey everyone. Today I'm going to tell you the five things, oops, that's 10, the five things I love about living in Wesley Chapel uh, in the new Tampa area of Florida and the five things I hate. And hate might be a strong word, um, maybe dislike. Uh, and we are going to start right now. So, hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Curtin with Cartwright Realty, ShellSellsFloridaHomes.com. And I specialize in helping buyers and sellers uh, in the residential real estate space in New Tampa and Wesley Chapel, Florida, which is a very quickly growing suburb of Tampa. Um, if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that little bell down below because uh, I talk about a lot of really cool stuff related to this area. And um, if you're thinking about living here, I'm sure you're going to want to know about it. So click the bell, subscribe. Um, you can also like this video and comment on it uh, when I get finished, if you enjoyed it, because that will really help me um, to help more people. So um, you may have seen a previous video I did. Um, I'll link to it right up here about one of the many new construction communities in Wesley Chapel called Union Park. That video has had over 33,000 views. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Can't wrap my head around it. And I've done no promotion of that video. Um, so you guys are finding it just organically on Google. And um, that is so exciting to me. Um, I love the fact that so many people are interested in moving to my little neck of the woods. Well, today I'm gonna talk about the reasons I love living here and five things I'm not so excited about uh, regarding living here. So let's get started. Let's start with the bad ones first. Number one, the heat. Um, there's just no way around this issue. July and August are insanely hot and humid. Um, it's just how it is. But you know, everything is relative. I moved here from the Dallas area of Texas and um, let me tell you, that was hot. We had triple digits from like late May, early June, all the way through October. Um, and then we would get another mood swing in the winter. It would get down in the 30s uh, to the point where it often snowed uh, or it, we could for sure count on a few ice storms every year. So although it's really hot here in um, New Tampa, Wesley Chapel, I really enjoy the consistency of the weather, um, it, you know, without those crazy mood swings. Um, and so the highs of the 90s that we get don't really bother me that much. I still get out and play tennis, although, you know, in the hot months of the summer, I just make sure I get out really early to do that. Um, same thing with walking my dogs. But luckily, there's this little invention called air conditioning. So like pretty much every city in the South, um, everyone here spends their time, you know, going from their air conditioned house to their air conditioned car to their air conditioned office, um, maybe stopping at an air conditioned store or eating in an air conditioned restaurant. Um, so, you know, it's bearable. And then the minute you get home from work, you just hop in the pool or on the weekends you can go to the beach or go boating. So we definitely make the best of it. Um, and if it's only for like maybe two to four months of the year, it's definitely tolerable. So funny story, when my son was in middle school, I went with him on a field trip to Washington DC. And while we were there, we visited the Capitol building and in the, they have like a hall of statues um, where each state donates one to two statues of somebody famous that really made a difference for their state or a difference for the country. Um, so I thought it was kind of um, appropriate and kind of funny that the statue, one of the two statues that were donated from Florida was for a guy um, named John Gorey who created the first air cooling system that then um, Willis Carrier would perfect upon to create central air conditioning. So when you think about it, 
central air conditioning made in the entire South a desirable and livable place to live. Prior to that, you know, it was kind of miserable. So anyway, moving on. Number two uh, things that I somewhat dislike is the humidity because it really does. I mean, it, it can get to you. You go outside and, you know, you're all fresh and clean and then you're drenched within <laughs> minutes of going outside. Um, and the biggest thing about this, the reason that I put this on my list is that so many of my curly haired friends really hate it. Um, for me personally though, my hair was like poker straight when I used to live in Texas and also Ohio where I was born and raised. Um, and since moving to Florida, it's got, you know, a little bit of body, a little bit of curl. I cannot tell you how much I used to spend on perms back in the 90s to achieve the same look. So I actually don't mind it that much. Um, and even if you really hate the humidity, again, it's only for a few months out of the year and then the rest of the year is glorious weather. So, you know, you take the good with the bad. Um, number three, the bugs and other exotic creatures. <laughs> We are in a subtropical climate, which means we get some pretty scary looking bugs here. Um, we also get our share of alligators and snakes, and um, we get these tiny little lizards that my dogs love to chase. Um, so they chase the lizards and they wisely stay away from the alligators. We also get these really cool looking big birds called sandhill cranes. Um, that will walk around in pairs and um, legend has it that they mate for life and so you always see them in twos and then like in the spring you'll see the two parents and then their little baby sandhill cranes so those are really cool to see um, but they can create a problem when they decide to step out into traffic and then block <laughs> block all the cars until they meander their way across the street so um, I just, I think it's pretty cool. I call it life in the wild kingdom. Um, and the alligators are a reason why I am a firm believer that good fences make good neighbors. So um, you just need to respect the wildlife. And as far as all the other little creepy crawlies, get yourself a good pest control system and have them come out um, on a regular basis, I think it's like every couple of months they come out and they spray the exterior of the house and the yard and stuff like that so that all the um, little creepy crawlies can stay outside and not come inside. Um, and then another thing that most people do as far as the little flying creatures like, um, you know, mosquitoes and these other little bugs called noceums. Um, that are so tiny you don't see them but you feel them when they bite you you know so um, most people down here will will screen in their lanai which is what we call our back patio so that takes care of it um, number four traffic so everyone who's lived out here since the beginning when it was just farmland and cows loves to complain about the traffic um, that has come with all the new construction, retail development, stores, and hotels. Um, so, you know, I, I think it's just the price we have to pay for progress. And having lived many other places, I have to say I've seen worse. So, but you know, it is something you have to deal with. Um, the traffic that really gets me is when you're traveling downtown, to, you know, to downtown Tampa or um, like to the beach on the weekends. So you just kind of learn what are the best and worst times to start that type of trip and work around it if you can. And then number five of the things I don't love about living in New Tampa, Wesley Chapel, is the rain during hurricane season. So from about June through October, um, we will get at least one heavy downpour per day, typically. Um, Sometimes it'll last an hour or less, and sometimes it'll be all day. So when I first moved here in 2012, um, you know, we would drive around in the pouring rain, and we'd see all these license plates that said um, 
you know, Florida, the Sunshine State, and we just felt like those were mocking us. We were like, this is not true at all. So, but again, when it's not hurricane season, it's very much true. The weather is gorgeous. Um, but, you know, in the summer, you just make sure you have an umbrella with you at all times. Because like, if you walk into a store and it's the sun is shining, you might walk out and it's pouring. So again, you just learn to be prepared. So speaking of hurricanes, let's talk about the things I love about Wesley Chapel. So not that I love hurricanes, but number one is I love that we are fairly well protected up here from hurricanes. Um, this area tends to weather the storms pretty well and we rarely even lose power, uh, much less incur any damage from hurricanes. So knock on wood. <laughs> um, if you live closer to downtown Tampa or closer to any of the beaches and so on, um, you will encounter a lot more flooding and you might even be in a mandatory evacuation zone. So up here, we just stock up on our supplies and hunker down. Number two of the things I love are the outdoor malls. We have two of them, uh, the shops at Wiregrass and the Premium Outlet Mall. Both of them are great for uh, just walking around outside and window shopping. And there's lots of good restaurants going up uh, both within the, the mall area as well as outside the perimeter. Um, so that's really nice. We keep having more and more places to go um, on the weekends. And my favorites are Grillsmith at Wiregrass. And then um, out by the Premium Outlet Mall, my favorite currently is Rock and Brews, which is a restaurant, it's kind of a themed restaurant uh, that is co-owned and founded by Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley from KISS. So it's got like a rock and roll theme, they've got old like vintage um, videos playing all the time and you know, drinks are good, the food is pretty good, so it's just a fun place to go and hang out with your friends or family. Um, number three of things I love would have to be all the outdoor activities. We have so many gated communities that offer tennis um, and many of them offer golfing and almost every community has a really nice pool area as well as playgrounds and basketball courts. Um, and then of course there's Tampa Bay and the Gulf of Mexico within driving distance of here. Um, and so you can visit any number of beaches or go boating, um, which is fun. So I love spending time in the outdoors and I love that there's so much to do around here. Number four is sports. We are thinking of renaming our downtown area Champa Bay um, because we're home to the Super Bowl winning uh, Buccaneers as well as the Stanley Cup winning uh, Tampa Bay Lightning and our baseball team the Rays uh, tend to do pretty well too they they make it pretty consistently into the playoffs um, but I don't think they've won um, the major league award just yet so uh, that is all I know about sports but I do love the excitement that these teams generate in the community and um, the way that everyone is united in cheering them on during, you know, whatever season. So that's always really fun. And finally, number five is the fact that we are such a family friendly and pet friendly area. We've got highly rated schools according to greatschools.org. And um, most of the restaurants around here are very laid back and, you know, child friendly and if you sit on the back patio um, they're pet friendly so you could be having a meal and then they'll come and bring a little dish of water for your dog um, so it's just really nice and we have a 55 plus community um, that's pretty new and very very nice but for the most part the other communities in this area are um, pretty much appropriate for ages zero to a hundred or more. Um, you could check out some of the other videos I've done on um, specific communities and then there's more to come. 
So be sure to like this one and then also comment below if there's a specific community you'd like me to do a video on or a specific topic that you'd like me to cover. Um, if you're thinking about moving to the area, be sure to download some of the resources that I've got listed below um, in the description box. And you can also head on over to my website, shellsouthfloridahomes.com, to do a little um, searching for homes in your price range. So don't worry, I promise I'm not gonna bug you or hound you, um, but you can just let me know if there's anything I can help you with. And thank you for watching. I will talk more next week.